Good evening, dear. I'm Tatentros, and welcome to Lost Impressions. It's from the same developer as Sounds of Her Love Wars, and since that game really, I really like that game, I thought, um, yes, why not give it a try as well? <laughs> since I enjoyed the other one so much, so just let's start. Raindrops. Rain. Typically isn't considered to be a good weather. It's kind of symbolic for melancholy. Something that might ruin your day's plans, stop stopping someone from going out and enjoying themselves. They'd be stuck inside in solitude, forcing them to seek entertainment and trivial things to take them away from our loneliness. Kind of like me. I became that person two months ago. What was on track to be a life filled with meaning and joy was stripped all of, of all value. Tragedy. That was it. Is. We start upon my during, uh, upon me during my second year of high school. A serious car accident. The bane of me. At least that's what I've been told. The car accident part. That is. For all I know, I could have fallen down the stairs, ate something sort of rotten fruit, or stopped my toe pretty bad that I was knocked into a Commodore state. All jokes aside, I can't avoid the fact that I'm here. Doctors told me it was a miracle. Well, in any other situation it would be, sure. Surviving an accident is pretty lucky if you ask me. Though this isn't a story of luck. What was written as the story of my life had seemingly been erased. The true results of that accident are not made manifest to open eye. Amnesia. Loss of memory. What was me is now just an empty shell, a blank canvas, a blank canvas, waiting to be drawn on with the fresh containing men memories. Needless to say that there were many downsides to this, aside from the most notable of course, I now depend completely on what others tell me, suspectable so out of false information. That in turn could change who I am completely, not that I knew not who I was before. Do I really want to live without nothing, with nothing but artificial memories? Or live alone as a hollow state waiting for new ones to come along? Can I trust people? Those are the questions I have to ask. Maybe I'm just a being paranoid, maybe I'm over complaining things. However, though it still lingers in my empty mind. Perhaps it would be good if I get some rest. To be fair, I've become accustomed to the mundane task of waking up in this bed. That's natural considering how long I've been here. Something though is odd this time. It's quite obvious that it, what it is. A girl seemingly of familiar age, similar age to me lurks over my bed. Can't she even tell that I'm awake? Ah! What? <laughs> After realizing, uh, finally realizing she jumps back, taking off guard. Uh, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine, Toshi. Maybe this is A. I've been hearing so much about. There's nobody else who could be. What I've been, uh, what I've heard. I never had really, I never really had many friends, but apparently me and her were pretty close before the accident. I feel sorry for her. I, her friend, hardly recognize her. There's no denying that she's hurt. But all I can really do now is make new memories with her, to replace the old ones. So, a, her, huh, they finally let you in. You... you remembered my name. I couldn't really say I remembered it. I, I was just going on the information that I was spooned by my parents and the doctors there here at the hospital. They wouldn't let me in until now. Trust me, Toshi, I've been trying. I really wanted to speak to you since the accident. She speaks carefully. It seems she's still pretty shocked about all this. I was told to help you once you get out, to get used to things again. You'll be going back to school soon. 
You're in the same class as me. I see her perk up when she mentioned that fact. The rain stopped. I don't like this. <laughs> it seems she's pretty fond of me. She has been waiting all this time. Uh, it's good to hear, eh? I'm looking forward to it. I don't want to be too much of a burden on you, though. It's okay, really. I just want to be able to help you. She smiles, but a sad look still remains in her eyes. Still, I'll just have to trust her. For now, working towards a new future is my main priority, despite how hard it might seem. What was my future in the first place? I don't know, but with the help of A, a new one doesn't seem too bad. A looks at the uh, clock on the wall and turns back to face me. It looks like visiting hours are over, but don't worry, I'll come back again. It's not like I'm worrying anyway, I'll be out of this place in less than, than a week. I'll see you soon, eh? A gives me, a, gives me a wave and says her goodbyes, leaving me in solitude again. That short burst of company really did leave an impression on me. I really do seem to like. Seem to like. <laughs> I really does seem like a nice person. That's not so hard to say, and it's more than obvious that she cares about me. This week couldn't pass any sooner. Bloody hell! I finished packing my bag for school. It's been a day since I've left the hospital, but they told me I couldn't go back straight away, which added the agony even more. Most people my age wouldn't be as eager to get to school as me unless they enjoy of it, of course. That might be the case soon with me as I get to spend time with A. She seems pretty cute, really. The bell rings once again. It looks like A is also pretty adamant about starting school with me. I'm still pretty tired since sleeping in a new bed felt so foggy, But I guess this was where I slept before. I rush down the stairs and to the front door. It seems as if I have everything. Hey, Tashi! Hi. <laughs> Egg greets me with a smile I can suddenly call delightful. After seeing nothing but wooden faces in the hospital, it's definitely a change I welcome. Hi, I. Shall we get going? I nod heartfully and I shut the door behind me. A warm breeze meets my cheeks as I walk with her down the street. You looking forward to it? Yeah, I am. Same here. I hum, hum some melody I can't recognize as we further continue our walk. Maybe I would have known it before, somehow. We arrive at school and I watch the little dance down to the side of the street as a small breeze passes by, scaring it in all sorts of directions. I used to know this place like the back of my hand, but now I can hardly recall anything. I guess I'll have to rely for on A for a while. Some things do seem familiar, these subliminal messages that are my basis for trying to remember anything fully. A treats, uh, treads ahead of me and turns to face me. Well, we're here at school, Tashi. Our class is... Two, one. <laughs> it hits me that I've been, I have no idea about anything I learned prior to this, so let's hope I can get through classes easily enough. We don't say sit next to each other, unfortunately, so you have to cope without me for a while. I'll be seeing you at lunch though, right? That's right. I guess you wouldn't miss the opportunity to spend time with me. What would not seeing me in a couple of months? I can't say I'm not looking forward to it. I look forward to learning about her again, strengthening our French friendship. <laughs> though, even though we are still friends, it doesn't feel right. How can you be friends with someone when you know nothing about them? How can you be friends with someone when they know nothing about you? I is really trying really hard to maintain our friendship. Uh, as I can tell, I should be doing the same. We walk further down to the school grounds and I find my way to class with A as my guide. The morning classes went fairly normal, I guess. There were no difference than I expected, which was a surprise. 
You'd think people would act differently to a classmate completely forgetting who they are. Maybe don't, don't, they don't care that much, especially if it wasn't that social before the accident. A was the only one who visited me after all. Speaking of A, she brings her chair up to my desk and sets her lounge down. You never used to eat with me before. I didn't. I thought we were good, good friends. It surprised me, really. I would have thought we would usually eat together like this. We were, but during school you always used to be alone. It used to make me quite sad, really. It looked like some of that sadness still lingers on as she looks down onto the desk. Oh, I, s I see. Though, in a strange way, I'm glad. I get to spend more time with you. We never really talk that much aside from outside of school. Well, hopefully we can change that, eh? I definitely plan on it. Yeah, hopefully we can. She looks up with a smile that puts my heart at ease. However, her words make me think. Was I really such a loner before my accident? Surely I spoke to people. A eats her lunch delicately and keeps a faint smile on her face as she does. I had assumed that she would have been devast devastated having her friend forget who she was, and she probably is, but it seems she's looking on the lighter side of things. She's glad that I can start spending more time with her, really. That I depend on her. Was I really such a good friend before? I guess I should go. I should work on being a better friend to her. That and start making some new ones to take the pressure off her. Though everything has its fair share of consequences. The bell rings, signaling the end of lunch. Looks as if I should get back to my desk. Could the music please chill? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Thanks, I am glad to see uh, to have someone here for me. Even more that I get to spend more time with you. Yeah. Her face looks sad as she packs her things up and heads back to her desk begin afternoon lessons. I can't help but feel that there's something wrong. Somehow I find myself alone after school. Classes finished not long too long ago and Theoretically, I can go home whether I like, but I just don't feel like it. Apparently, A said she was going to be busy after school. There's no room to blame her. She can't cre keep track of me all the time. I'm not her dog. Still, I feel like she at least could have given me a heads up earlier. I walk through the corridors looking for something interesting on any of the facilities. Stopping in my tracks, I rather notice... I I read a noticeable sign catch my attention. The library, huh? Speaking my thought aloud, I could contemplate going inside. I'm not a massive fan of books going by the contents of my room anyway. Who knows, maybe I was, but I go inside hoping that I can find an oddity that catch my interest. This place... This music, I know it. Yes, I know the music. That's <laughs> it's nice to, to hear um, familiar music. Um, this place is surprisingly sparse, considering the glamour it upside the head for it. I guess books are com becoming pretty dated nowadays, that with the rise of technology and all. But the lack of people still surprises me. I find a place to sit somewhere in the corner of the room and grab a random book out of the closet shelf. Hmm, an idiot's guide to socializing. Pay fitting for my situation. But halfway through the book, a loud crash, which I can, uh, which can only attribute it to somebody falling over, fills my ears. Oh dear! <laughs> a girl uh, with lavish blonde hair kneels on the floor just beside the table I sit at. Several books are scattered on the floor around her. Are you okay? No, this is going to be a pain. I offer her my hand to help her up and begin aiding the process of retrieving the books off the ground. Thank you. No worries. Just be a bit more careful next time. She giggles. I try to be. 
The girl looks over to me curiously as I finish helping her pick up the books. I hope it doesn't sound impolite, but may I ask your name? Uh, uh Toshi, I'm in... 2-1, I don't know how to pronounce the Japanese clauses, I'm sorry. Toshi. She continues her gaze. I'm Hannah, I'm also a second year student. Hannah, huh? It's She seems she, she, like she really went a well mannered girl. <coughs> Do you mind asking me what you were doing with that many books in the first place? It's quite a lot to carry. Surely she wasn't going to read them all. I I happen to be doing a favor for the librarian. She asked me to help the, put them away on their perspective shelves. Uh, sure seems like a big favor. I know. It would have been rude of me to refuse, though. Is she from a, is she from a rich family? She certainly has the manners for it. Whatever it is, she really, she's really polite, kind of cute too. I think I can get along with her. Do you visit the library often? This is my first time seeing you here. Oh no, this is no more of a one-off thing. That's a shame. I was hoping someone had taken an interest in it. Not many people visit anymore, so it's a risk of being closed for good. Anna seems rather fond of this place. It must be painful to her seeing it go, though I doubt having an extra person to come here can prevent it from getting closed. The clock on the wall has already moved a far, fair bit since I got here. I really should be leaving soon. Hannah's gaze moves to catch mine. Is it that late already? I best be off soon. And I pause at the clock as to convey her, her displeasure. Well, Tashi, it was a pleasure to spend time with you. Hopefully, I'll see you again soon. Uh, you, you too. The words stumble out of my mouth. I've never had a girl say that to me before. Well, not that I can remember anyway. Hannah bids a final farewell and resumes res reshelving the books that once laid upon the floor. I close my book and spark marking my page as I figure I'm not going to be reading it anytime soon. It's not to say I won't be back here. What with Hannah being here, I'm more likely than to return. Making my way out of the library, I set off home. Hopefully, I don't get lost. The walk home is no longer recognizable for me. However, according to the map on my phone, it should be going the right way. Maybe I'm going the wrong way after all. Uh, I've never had a thing for modern, modern t technology. Then a girl appeared. Turning down the narrow street, I catch a glimpse of a red-headed girl, seeming in the same uniform as me. Maybe I can ask her for directions. Why do you think she knows where you live? Excuse me, can you tell me, ah, can you tell me where the 12th cherry blossom approach is? The girl looks back at me, almost as if she knows me somehow. Cherry Blossom Approach? You live there? Uh, yeah. Why don't you know where your, ho your own house is then? She looks back at me and smirks. Uh, thank you for uh, being mean to me because I lost my memories. <laughs> well, I've had a hard time thinking lately. Can you just tell me where it is? Sure, I guess I can. I live there too after all, so I'll take you with me. Girl is living in my it lives in my screen. I've, I've, I've never seen it around before. <clears throat> did, did you move here recently? Oh yeah, from the city. A city girl, huh? Despite having a slight attitude, she seems fairly friendly. So what's wrong with your noggin then? My my what? No, your noggin, your head. You said you were thinking through a rock lately, didn't you? Uh, I, I don't know. I, perhaps I haven't been getting enough sleep. I really don't want to be talking about my accident with someone I just met. My excuse is fairly weak though, being back doesn't give off a good impression of myself. Well, it sure looks like you've been lacking some. We arrived outside my house and I still feel embarrassed that I forgot my way home. But there's nothing I can do about that really. So, this is your house? Yeah, it is. I see, I might pay you a visit sometime. Mine is just over there. I look across the street to where she points. Well, I must be off. 
Maybe we should hang out around more. You seem like an interesting guy. Uh, thanks, I guess. No problem. I'll see you right then, Toshi. Oh yeah, my name's Sashi. I don't expect you for getting dead anytime soon. Sashi walks off towards the house across the street. Maybe spending time with her wouldn't be a bad idea after all. She doesn't seem like a bad person. Just as I enter my house, one last question lingers on my mind. How did she know my name? I didn't recall calling, calling, telling her. <coughs> Instead of facing the walls, I have to see and look at, back at me. For many months, the war had been my only friend. As sad as it sounds, it's true. Being in the hospital really wasn't a pleasant experience, so being able to make some new friends today really wasn't such a bad thing. I'm quite glad, actually. However, despite today's events, something still doesn't feel right. I feel like I'm forgetting something. A jigsaw with a missing piece. Of course, no doubt I'm forgetting a lot. That's kind of obvious considering my condition. But none of that made me feel uneasy. This feeling has been with me for quite a while. Just what is it? The doorbell rings and since my parents aren't home now, I guess I have to answer it. I make my way downstairs. Opening the door, I'm greeted with a familiar face. Oh, <laughs> I thought for a second that the other girl is already going to um, visit me. Hello, Toshi. Hey, hey, what are you doing here? I'm not allowed to visit? I put a frown, which really talks on my heart strings. I guess it wouldn't be a bad idea to let her in. No, 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 you're welcome to come in on in. She smiles and makes her way past me through the door. So, are you going to show me your room? I haven't been there since... She cuts herself off mid-sentence. Since? Never mind, Toshi, it's nothing. A heads upstairs without a prompt from me, leaving me confused. Is she hiding something? Both A and I stand in my room as I watch her as she... As, and I watch her as she, she scans with her eyes. It's surprisingly clean. Thanks, I only got back from the hospital recently, so I haven't had time to mess it up. The hospital. A look of subdued sadness is made manifest on her on Ice's face. I guess something is still bothering her. You okay, eh? Shuki looks at me and puts on a weak smile. Yeah, Tashi, don't worry. Despite her reassurance, it's quite clear she's bothered or bothered around something. <clears throat> I won't go into it now, though. I'm sure she'll tell me if she wants me to know. How about we play some games? I burst in the handheld console from her bag with a pink cover to store her game in Catridge. Is she really this much of a kid? I remember playing this when we... She cuts herself off again. Went to a school trip last year. Was it fun, the trip? Yeah. I still look sad, worse than before, I guess. In the end, not being able to reminisce with her close friend is a really painful thing to her. We we'll have to do something together sometime, I. She perks up. How about we go into town this weekend? Her face goes red. This, that sounds like a great idea, but there's nothing much to, to do now in town. How about the city, then? The city sounds fine. The plans seem to be set in stone then. I'm glad I could do something that can ma can help make things right again. It hurts me that she's upset. Well, we, we no longer share these memories that bonded us. I don't want to be the cause of her problems. I sit off, my, off, off the side of my bed as we take turns playing games on her handheld. Mainly her teaching me how to play again. I can't see anything bad about that, though. Time passes, and both I and R uh, A and I are now pretty tired. We did make some substantial progress in the game, though, so both of us are pretty happy. It looks like I should be going, Tashi. I'm glad I got to spend I got to spend time with you, A. A A is <laughs> wrong synchronization. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Lately, I've been saying that a lot, but it's true. Having lost that relationship with A after my accident, it feels nice to rekindle it. A and I head down the stairs. I see you tomorrow then. Sure thing. A sets off home.
Yes, I'm gonna end it here. <laughs> I'm just gonna save it here. And going to go off then now. <laughs> so, so far it's it's pretty interesting like um, the other game was. So I'm just too curious what it's going to be. Okay, good. Then thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your evening and I'll be off now. Goodbye.